that when the executive is called to account in parliament, the account on behalf of protection of their jobs. Because our institution, we all know that it's been under four VCs in 10 months. Uh, even in the council itself, it is responsible to, to, to make the executive accountable. There's nothing is happening. NSFAS has not paid uh, 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 it debts for students. So it means NSFAS has become a problem more than a solution. But nothing is being addressed also when it comes to that. Every time we raise these issues, what is happening? We get systematic victimization through expulsion, interdicts, and suspensions. So we are never heard. The only thing they respond is through violence. Now what is happening is that we have tried all intellectual measures. As you said, we are intellectual to those who are intellectual to us, and we are violent to those who are violent to us. It's the 10 month of 2017 today. Heavy meetings, memorandums, emails. There's no intellectual measure we didn't try. But the only way to respond is through systematic victimization. That is the problem that you are having. And also we have uh, security companies that, that are that are hired to protect the, 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 the institution. What is happening is that to them, violence is business. Uh, when Vita Scola, one of the companies that are employed, whose contract was supposed to expire just Tuesday, that Tuesday our building was being banned, our financial aid and cleaning. So exactly that means these people now, the, the following morning, which was on a Wednesday, what happened? Their contract was extended. All these things never get questioned. When you raise these issues, we only get expelled and interdicted. So now, what is happening now, we are, we are embarking on a struggle now to remind us that you are still poor and we still can't afford this. So that is the reality of our struggle. But now we have a problem of begging students to remind them how poor they are. Because personal, I'm not affected financially. I use, I use a scholarship because I'm passing anyway. But here, I'm here because of compassion, because I know what it means to be poor. People think you don't understand and stuff. We're not scared of exams. I have exams also by virtue of being student, and I'm passing, and I own time, I time food. That's why I have a scholarship. That's the reality. I don't even owe NS for a single cent. I'm here because of one thing: compassion to feel the pain of another student. So that is the reality now of our institution. Right. And in also in terms of what happened with the the, the shooting with the, the police when they threw the stun grenades. Uh, the, the police are, are, are very, very problematic because the police told us that you need to apply for, for, for whatsoever, what is called the match or whatsoever. We've done an application three weeks, I think it's four weeks prior. We have it. This is the, applic yeah, this is the application that I have. In. This is the application that I made to 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 to, to uh, Nantiga City of CTC Nantiga, yeah, Western Cape City. Mm. We don't get a reply because mm. anything that relates to a poor student to never be replied to. So um, was it approved or you just gave not even a reply? Not even a reply. Let alone to say now no we reject it. Not even a reply. Three weeks prior. In fact you have made even two applications. Even today we're gonna make another application. So that is the reality. We don't even get a response. So now today we went to Department of Higher Education. We met, uh, we met with uh, uh, the, the, the chief director of the uh, uh, Department of Higher Education to, uh, you know, to, to tell him that our institution is still under maladministration and they must probe a forensic investigation in our institution because you are never heard. As I said, they cannot get uh, the true reflection of what is happening on the ground from the management because the executive, their purpose is to protect their job. So we'll never get the true reflection. So all we are asking here is to be heard. The two um, students that are in custody, correct me if I'm wrong, what, what do they do? Uh, the two students that are in custody now, we were going to, to the office of, uh, of higher education. Then the police stopped us through violence. As you see, the, how he was violence, <laughs> how he was violated, how he was moored and stuff, down and stuff. Also, the video. So, now what's going to happen is that this police who think they are clever, who are, who are trained uh, by, 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 by this colonial training to come. And you know, and, 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 and respond to us through violence. We're going to open a case against them. We are still waiting for our comrades who are still inside who are arrested for a mere walk to parliament. They think that we must apply to parliament. Who is the parliament for? Parliament is our parliament. I don't have to apply to go to parliament. As a citizen, I have a right to go to parliament and talk to anyone that I want to talk to in parliament. Now they're telling us we need to apply to city of Cape Town. That is very, very irrational. And these people must be educated because they don't even understand what is parliament in itself. You don't have to apply to go to parliament. But do you understand that there are procedures uh, where you have procedures? For example, if you want to have a march, there are procedures that you need to take. And then you... So are these the things that we're talking about? But as I told you, we have tried all intellectual measures. 
all procedures legal. There's no procedure we didn't try. We applied. That is four weeks back, two applications so that we come to the Department of Higher Education. There's not even a single response that we got. And then with the four students, what's happening here today? Yeah, the four students is still waiting on the outcome, yeah, 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 uh, the outcome of the outcome of the case, mm. of the irrational case itself. Because we are here to support them, to say, you, as I said, when every time we raise our voice, we face systematic victimization. Systematic victimization is what appears to be correct systematic to say, no, they disrupted the council meeting without going to the root. Why was the council meeting disrupted? Mm. Why is the issue of residences? That, that, that's the problem that you are having. Mm. You see, we elect leaders. Yeah, we and, and, and the executive goes to the public and say we are students who don't want to pass. One of the leaders there was supposed to graduate with the cum laude. Mm. That is the reality. All these things are not said in public. So yeah, we are having a, a, an executive who are liars. In fact, who are not honest in even running the same institution that we are in. Mm. I was that's a problem. So we are here now to say now we are not we are not telling the executive to uplift the suspension. No. Because if you uplift the suspension, that means you agree with the case itself. Mm. We disagree. We said the case must be dropped because it was irrational. We must first go back to the root in terms of why was there a suspension first? Mm. Why were they in that council meeting? Why were they there? They have placed 175 students in residence. The following day, they received a suspension letter. That's why I say we are intellectual to those, only we are intellectual to us. We tried all intellectual measures. So that's the reality. Thank you very much.